Wow, this is Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Answer Right Back, a.k.a. The People's Champ, Terrence Civilian Williams. Man, this is some, this is some shocking, surprising stuff. Um, Meat Mills. Meat Mills online beefing with DJ Academics. I will say this in Axe defense. The news is out there, Meek. The paperwork is out. It's online, brother. Let me see. I must have it myself. If I can get my hands on it, you know anybody can. And me, you shouldn't be upset with act, and you shouldn't even much entertain that with act, because when you be upset and you entertain that with act, then it makes you look guilty. But look right here, me. You see what that say right there? He is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. That's in the paperwork. So automatically a person going to know Meek Mills. Unless Nicki was slick, sneaking around with another Philly rapper um, that we didn't know about. And this person happened to know about it, so the person just shot it out there. Until that come out, Meek, you got the charge. Now, Meek, you, 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 um, you come out. You come out in the industry, um, you know, you hit us with the, the hood mentality. Okay, we got a street rapper, a street gangster rapper. They hit the scene. I'm a boss. Hold up, wait a minute. You know, you had some a lot of stuff. You got the goons. Um, one of my favorite lines from you when you was going at with Cassidy. And you said, hey, you said, Chinchilla from Poppy, 10 killers with me looking like eye keys. I said, Whoa, that boy said it. And I thought, Philly, the eye key, the beers. I said, Yeah, he did that. That's when you and Cassidy was going at. So you got to, I rock with the music wholeheartedly. And listen, let me just say this here. Um, I still rock with you now. But, bro, it's too much bull crap for, as far as in the media that ties you to. The rainbow activities, bro. For one, Puffy calling you daddy. Now, they, they, now I heard some old timers say that's what they say back in the days. You know, Puffy still old that they call people daddy. I've never heard that. I've never heard anybody from New York use that slang, daddy, daddy. So that was kind of that was that that was weird. Um, also, you and Puffy dressed alike. Man, come on, bro. You and Puffy dressed alike, me? That that was going too far too. With you and Puff Daddy dressed alike, man, come on, knock it off. Um, and I know because Fifty said Puffy like to take people shopping, so I'm pretty sure Puffy bought that shirt for you till he put it on. And then I will say this because I know um, Rick Ross allegedly uh, uh, bought your house. So, I don't know, maybe you was like, okay, the money kind of sliding down. I'm going to hang out with Diddy and them and these billionaires because I'm pushing up, you know, the reform um, situation. So, I'm about to start hanging out with these people here and try to get my money invested in stuff. But, man, bro, they got you on camera doing a bunny hop for these big boys, these big money guys. Bro, listen, here, you looked at it as a Philly gangster rapper. From Philly hardcore, and you on there doing a bunny hop, that's kind of degrading, bro. That 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 don't look right. That don't look right for you to be on there doing a bunny hop in this day and age, bro. No, bro. Come on, me, bro. Not the bunny hop, bro. <laughs> Man, listen. As I'm looking at this, then I looked at the poem. He was in the pool, you know, puffy. That's pretty cool, you know, doing anything. It's just that puffy, puffy got the bad stigma on his name. For, for, for freaking right now. And it's a lot going on, man. I'm talking about it's, it's a lot in these pages, man. Um, so that's why Ack, Ack only did what YouTubers do. You know, um, bloggers, whatever you want to call them, do report the news. This is what I have. It's not like he lying. He got proof. The man have proof, so he in the right to do what he want to, you know, do what he do. Um, so... And I understand in your position too, like, 
Listen, yeah, I've been having fun out doing all that, but don't play with me like that. I get that because you got an image to uphold and you got them boys in the hoods. They look up to you. They respect you. They rock it with you. So I get that. But it's too much. Um, by the preponderance of the evidence, um, it don't look right for you, Meek. Because Meek, you still out. People still loving the music. People still rocking with you, bro. So uh, you know how you know how the media do. You know how the media do. You've been out here before me. You know how the media do. They'll try to take you down. So in a little thing, they get there around with it. I got you now. That's what they do, Meek. Um, and I know you don't want that kind of publicity, Meek. So you got to be mindful of the circle you hang around, the company you keep. And, and I know a lot of you guys out there in the industry be want to be around the big money guys and they'll say all these disease dreams and stories that, yeah, we're going to we're gonna invest in this. I'm going to put you here. I'm going to make it look good for you. You know, they, they, they do all that. And they be liking them young, young black handsome men. They like that kind of stuff. And then especially if you bless downstairs and you got on little shorts or you jump out that pool and you got the little stiffy going on on the print, and they and they looking, look at him, Bill, look at him. Hey, what do you think about that guy there? Get a load of that. They watching all that, bro. So now they gonna throw their money in your face. They know black people from the hood love money, and got yeah, what they wanna do. They just wanna fulfill their little sick fantasy, being with a young black guy, a little young mandingo, a little young guy that's going. Lay it on. I'm not saying you lay it on because I don't want you kept somewhere. You and your, your gang, your, your homies, whatever, and jump on me because I be kind of moving solo. So don't, don't, nah, nah, I ain't saying that. I'm just trying to tell you, be careful, bro. Be careful what you wear. <laughs> be careful how you act around the people because they be watching, bro. You, all right, now, man, listen. You have to be careful, bro, because y'all wear them tight clothes, too. Y'all love them tighties. Y'all tell me this is in style. Wear them the tight clothes, then y'all sag them and, them and them old rich white folks look. They watch it too. And some of the blacks too. They watch it too. Them little freaks. They they want to do all of you dig what you dig. So, bro, you just got to be careful, bro. Especially if you're not into that. If you're not into that, then you have to be careful. Because they watching. And they own it, bro. They, they trying to see how they can get you to take them on down through there. And they ain't going to write you the check. Here you go. Meet this for you. And here you go for your foundation. We're going to make it look good, buddy. Patch like the other man. He doing a hug from the back. And a little baby just kick, 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 kick. you know, he get the hug from the bag. So now that 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 brings him. Remember, was he was he? You know, I don't know, man. And then he told me, yeah, Paul, me say pause. Me kept saying pause. That man kept saying, ain't no pause. I'm gonna hug you, boy, from the bag. Ain't no pause. Man, but that's enough of that, man. Um, I don't like that academic meek attack act. Um, and then there was some more allegations that uh, act said what well, meek did to him. I almost want. Bring that up right here. But I know that's a touchy subject. But anyway, y'all know my motto. Let's say no to drugs. Let's stop the violence. Put the guns down. Make sure y'all can test for HIV and AIDS because y'all need to know y'all's status. We got the non-profit. They need us. The Instagram. They need us. Third War. The movie. Them boys at war. The reality show. Life after the feds. We have uh, my new channel. Hanging out with OG Giggity. We have uh, Cap to Cap Podcast. We have my, my merch on the website. Y'all check it out. Thank y'all for all the support. Wow.